Ladies, your body might be sending subtle warnings that something isn't right, and you may not even realize it. In the United States, countless women overlook these unusual signs, unaware of their potential danger. Paying attention now could make all the difference. Spotting these red flags early might just save your life. 1. Frequent Yeast Infections If you're constantly dealing with yeast infections that keep coming back, it might not just be bad luck, it could be an early warning sign of diabetes. High blood sugar creates the perfect environment for candida overgrowth, feeding yeast, and throwing off your vaginal pH. Plus, diabetes weakens your immune system, making it harder to fight off infections. If you're experiencing intense itching, thick white discharge, burning during urination, or pain during sex, it's time to pay attention. The best way to stop recurring yeast infections is to control your blood sugar, eat low glycemic foods, exercise regularly, and take prescribed diabetes medications. Good hygiene is also key. Avoid scented soaps, wear breathable cotton underwear, and change out of sweaty clothes as soon as possible. Over-the-counter treatments like clotrimazole, apply twice daily for seven days, or myconazole, insert vaginally once daily for three to seven days, can help. For stubborn cases, doctors may prescribe fluconazole, 150 milligrams, taken once and repeated in 72 hours if needed. Taking probiotics, reducing stress, and staying hydrated also helps prevent future infections. If yeast infections keep coming back despite treatment, don't ignore it. Get a blood sugar test because diabetes might be the root cause. 2. Urinary tract infections, UTIs, that keep coming back. If you're constantly battling urinary tract infections, it's easy to blame stress, hygiene, or just bad luck. But did you know that frequent UTIs can be an overlooked sign of diabetes? High blood sugar creates the perfect breeding ground for bacteria, weakens your immune system, and even damages nerves, making it harder for your bladder to fully empty. This traps bacteria, leading to recurring infections. Symptoms include burning during urination, frequent urges to go, even when little comes out, cloudy or bloody urine, and pelvic pain. If this sounds familiar, it's time to take action. Managing blood sugar is key. Eat a low glycemic diet, exercise, and drink at least eight glasses of water daily. Good hygiene helps to wipe front to back, avoid scented feminine products, and always urinate after sex. If a UTI strikes, antibiotics like nitrofurantoin, 100 milligrams twice daily for five days, or trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, 160 slash 800 mg twice daily for three days may be needed. Adding probiotics and 36 milligrams of cranberry proanthocyanins daily can help prevent future infections. 3. Unusual skin darkening, acanthosis nigricans. If you've noticed dark, velvety patches of skin on your neck, armpits, groin, or under your breasts, and they won't fade no matter how much you scrub, it could be more than just a skin issue. It might be a warning sign of insulin resistance and diabetes. This condition, called acanthosis nigricans, happens when high insulin levels trigger excessive skin cell growth, leading to thickened, darkened patches. Women with PCOS or obesity are especially prone due to hormonal imbalances. The best way to reverse AN is by controlling blood sugar. Eat a low glycemic diet, exercise 30 to 45 minutes at least five times a week, and aim to lose 5 to 10% of body weight. If insulin resistance is the cause, doctors may prescribe metformin, 500 to 1,000 milligrams twice daily, to improve blood sugar control. To lighten dark patches, tretinoin, 0.05% cream at night, or hydroquinone, for percent twice daily for 8 to 12 weeks, may help. Exfoliating with lactic acid, using vitamin C serums, and considering laser therapy can also improve skin texture. If AN appears suddenly and spreads rapidly, don't ignore it. Get tested for diabetes immediately, as it could be an early warning sign of serious metabolic issues. 4. Polycystic Ovary Syndrome, PCOS, worsens. If your PCOS symptoms seem to be getting worse, 
It might not just be bad luck. Diabetes could be the hidden cause. Polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, affects 1 in 10 women, causing irregular periods, excessive hair growth, weight gain, and ovarian cysts. But what many don't realize is that PCOS is closely linked to insulin resistance, which can lead to undiagnosed diabetes. When insulin levels are too high, they disrupt ovarian function, causing irregular or absent periods, increased facial hair, severe acne. To get PCOS under control, blood sugar management is key. Eat a low glycemic, high fiber diet, avoid processed sugars, and exercise 30 to 60 minutes daily. Doctors may prescribe metformin, 500 to 1,000 milligrams twice daily, to improve insulin sensitivity and regulate periods, while spironolactone, 50 to 100 milligrams daily, can help reduce excessive hair growth and acne. Supplements like inositol, 2,000 to 4,000 milligrams daily, and vitamin D, 2,000 IU daily, also support hormone balance. Managing stress and getting seven to nine hours of quality sleep can help stabilize insulin and cortisol levels. If your PCOS symptoms continue to worsen, get a blood sugar test. Since up to 70% of women with PCOS have insulin resistance, diabetes might be the real culprit. Five, extreme fatigue, even after sleeping well. If you're constantly exhausted, even after a full night's sleep, it's not just everyday stress. It could be an early warning sign of diabetes. When insulin resistance prevents cells from absorbing glucose properly, your body is starved of energy, even though there's plenty of sugar in your bloodstream. This leads to constant fatigue, brain fog, and sluggishness. On top of that, blood sugar spikes and crashes cause inflammation, dehydration, and frequent urination, which only make exhaustion worse. The key to fighting diabetes-related fatigue is stabilizing blood sugar levels. Eat a low-glycemic diet, avoid processed carbs, and consume small, balanced meals every three to four hours to prevent energy crashes. Metformin, 500 to 1,000 milligrams twice daily, can improve insulin sensitivity, while alpha-lipoic acid, 300 to 600 milligrams daily, helps reduce inflammation and nerve-related fatigue. Staying hydrated with at least eight glasses of water daily and limiting caffeine can prevent further energy dips. Walking for 30 minutes daily and taking 200 to 400 milligrams of magnesium at night can help improve both energy and sleep quality. If fatigue persists despite rest, undiagnosed diabetes may be draining your energy, and early intervention is key to preventing complications. Six. Reduced libido vaginal dryness. If your sex drive has suddenly disappeared or you're dealing with persistent vaginal dryness, don't just blame stress or hormones. Diabetes could be the hidden culprit. High blood sugar damages blood vessels and nerves, reducing blood flow to the vaginal area and making arousal difficult. This leads to reduced sensitivity, dryness, and a lack of pleasure during intimacy. On top of that, Insulin resistance throws estrogen and testosterone levels out of balance, further decreasing libido. Diabetic neuropathy can also numb nerve endings, making it harder to feel pleasure. Plus, frequent yeast infections and UTIs, which are more common in women with diabetes, can make sex uncomfortable or even painful. The best way to restore your libido and vaginal health is to control blood sugar, Eat a low glycemic diet, exercise 30 minutes daily, and take metformin, 500 to 1,000 milligrams twice daily, to improve insulin sensitivity. Estrogen creams, applied two to three times per week, can help with dryness, while L arginine, 1,000 milligrams daily, and alpha lipoic acid, 300 to 600 milligrams daily, boost circulation and nerve function. Water based lubricants, stress reduction, and seven to nine hours of sleep also make a difference. Diabetes could be affecting your sexual health more than you realize. Seven, slow healing cuts, unexplained skin infections. If you've noticed that cuts, bruises, or skin infections take forever to heal, it's not just bad luck. 
Diabetes could be the hidden reason. High blood sugar damages blood vessels, slowing down the delivery of oxygen and nutrients, making wounds heal much more slowly. It also weakens the immune system, making women more prone to boils, abscesses, and fungal infections like athlete's foot or recurrent yeast infections. On top of that, diabetic neuropathy can reduce sensation, meaning small cuts or blisters go unnoticed until they become bigger problems. To speed up healing and prevent infections, managing blood sugar is crucial. Eat a low glycemic diet, exercise 30 minutes daily, and take metformin 500 to 1,000 milligrams twice daily to improve insulin sensitivity. Alpha-lipoic acid 300 to 600 milligrams daily can help with blood circulation, while vitamin C 500 to 1,000 milligrams daily and zinc 30 to 50 milligrams daily support wound healing. Always clean cuts with antiseptic and use mupirocin 2% twice daily for bacterial infections or clotrimazole 1%, twice daily for fungal infections, as needed. If a wound doesn't heal within two weeks, see a doctor. Diabetes-related infections can lead to serious complications like ulcers or even gangrene if left untreated. So, ladies, if you have noticed any of these strange signs, don't brush them off. Your body is always talking. Are you listening? A simple blood sugar test could give you the answers you need. Stay informed. Take charge of your health before diabetes takes charge of you. You might also want to watch this video for other strange signs of diabetes that only happen to women. And please subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful.